In this lesson, we will take a look at how to apply a, dis a displacement here. For this, what we will do is I stopped the, our render view here, and I'm going to select, I will start with the body. So I'm going to select our body. And the first thing I want to do is to start applying a material to this, because for now we have just a lumber material, but we want to start playing with Arnold materials. For this, I will do right click here. I will go to assign new material. And in the material tab here, I will go into Arnold and I will select the AI standard surface shader. This is the material that we are going we are going to use from now on, okay? There is also the standard surface shader in Maya that it, as I understand it works pretty similar, but I am used to use the AI standard surface and it works quite good for me. So if I go here, I select this and here we will have all the parameters in the material. Uh, let, me, let me press play again here. And if we see here, we can I can play with with the color. We can play with the roughness here, and we will take a look later at this material later. For now, I will keep I will keep this in a roughness of zero point two, and the color more or less gray. It's just again, it's just we just want to test the displacement with this. And once we once we do this, what I want to do is I want to go here to the hypershade. Let's take a second for this to open. And you will see that when we go to the hypershade, we will have the material here. We have this node that here allows us to connect the material that we want here and also allow us the displacement. So if you see when we are, if I go here, I select again this, I go all the way in the attributes editor until the end, okay, here. I have the option of, if I press this bottom here, it's takes me to the same tab, okay? So here we have the surface material and the displacement material. What we will do is we will come here, I will stop this just to avoid any issue, and we will press this, and I will go to File. And here, we can go into the file here, so you will have this node here that allows you to apply the scale. And we'll go here to File, I will put the type filter, the filter type in Off, and here I will go to the image name and I will search in our source images folder. I will go to the displacement and I will have here, I have, in our case, we have already a TX file that is a file that Arnold creates, Maya creates for after. But in your case, you will have only the EXR files at that point. So I will select any of these ones. I usually select the first one, but any of these ones would work. So if you see here is the warrior underscore body underscore DM dot one zero zero one. So here, as we talk again before, it is the UDEMS. So we'll select one of them, I will press open. And there are a few things that we need to consider here. The first thing we need to consider is here that we need to put the UV tiling in UDEM. If we, do, if we don't do that, Maya will apply the same displacement to every single UDEM, okay? So this will be just, it will only consider the 1001. So if we press UDEM, what it will do is it will add here the UDEM name here. And in this case, what we will have is that it will it will recognize all the UDEMs, okay? So here, if we press preview, because it's a displacement, it's not going to show anything here. And also because it's, it's quite heavy. But so the other things that we need to do here is to go to the color space and make sure the displacement is in raw. Because if we put it in RGB on any other any other one, it, it won't work. So, so what we'll do is we'll go here, we'll make sure to go to utility, and utility raw, okay? And that's that's it for the displacement here. So let's see how this looks. So I will press play here. And if you see, it will take a bit longer because the displacement is quite heavy. So whatever, any things that we are adding, and see now we are getting all these nice details that we didn't have before, okay? So now we have all the details. Let me go to the camera, camera two, and go a bit further. And you will see, you see we have all the details on the body that we didn't have before. So something that we need to consider here is if you see when we zoom in, right, we can see that all the details, they look they look pretty good here. And that's, that's amazing. But if we go, for example, here to the ear, we will see that we are starting getting some faceted here. Because the problem that we are having is that the mesh is not subdivided. This is applying the displacement on the mesh how it is. So the first thing we need to do when we apply the displacement, if we need to select the mesh, go to our body shape, okay? And we go here into this tab, the Arnold tab, 
and go down and go to subdivision. Okay, you will see this like this, we'll press subdivision, and here you will have the type none. Uh, let me go here close to the year so we, we see it properly. This is something that is more visible in like lower res meshes, but here we can see. So if we go here to the type and we do Cladmon Clark, what you will see is nothing changed because the, inter the interactions here is, is zero. So what we need to do is to start adding interaction here. We do one, if you see, this subdivided the mesh one time more. So still there is a little faceted. So we will do it two times, okay? And this should look really smooth now. What you need to be careful with this is that the more subdivisions you add, the more render time we will have. So this is something to consider. And in our case, for example, if we see this render here, okay, let's do, let's do a quick, let's keep the camera like this. Let's let it think for a little bit. We will do a snapshot here. Let's do a snapshot, and then I will go here and press zero here and see if there is much difference. Let it think a little bit and go here. So let me stop this and go from this to this. So if you see, see like there is a bit of a difference in the year, but the difference is not massive. So we need to be careful with not adding a lot of subdivisions. So what we will do here is we will keep this in two for now. Oh, let's, let's keep it in one later, we'll add it to two. So this is one. Let me remove this and press play again and see how this is looking from far to see if there is not any issue. So yeah, body-wise, this looks okay. So we will jump onto applying the displacement to the rest of the meshes.